Welcome back to our tutorial on Activity 2.3, Playing with Lists. Today we're going to take a look at using a non-visible component, such as the accelerometer. Now an accelerometer is a device that can usually measure the acceleration or the rate of change in velocity. But in smartphones, they're able to detect the change in orientation and tell the screen when to rotate. Basically, it helps the phone know up from down. We're going to go ahead and use this to detect when our device has been shaken that we're going to go ahead and increment our score and then display a new score in our score label component. This will happen whenever the user shakes the device. Now, not all cell phones do have an accelerometer, so you will want to check your device prior to doing this activity. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can actually code this in our MIT App Inventor. So what we want to go ahead and look at first is our designer view. And we want to make sure that that component has already been brought in. So if we scroll down to the bottom of our device, you'll see a list of non-visible components. And here you can see that we already have an accelerometer brought in for us. Now your accelerometer can be found in the sensor drawer if you want to go ahead and learn a little bit more. Simply go ahead and click on that question mark, but this is how you would bring it into your actual application. You also notice that you have some properties on whether you want to enable or disable the accelerometer. We can also look at the minimal interval as well as the sensitivity. For this, we're going to go ahead and leave it as moderate, but you can change that based on your device. Now going back over to our block view, what we're basically looking at have happen here is we're going to have our device increment the score whenever it is actually being shaken. We've created a procedure already that helps us to increment the score. We haven't had to add a point yet, so this is going to be the first time that we're actually going to increment or show an increase in our score for this actual application. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go and find our accelerometer event handler. And here we're going to go ahead and look at using when the accelerometer sensor is being shaken. So once we go ahead and bring that event handler in, what we want to basically do is add a score. Now the nice part about this is because we've created this procedure already on incrementing score, we've already set our global score to get the global score and add one and set the score label text to join the number of correct guesses by your global score. So the only thing we need to do for this is go ahead and find that procedure and bring that in. So now whenever my device is being shaken, it's going to go ahead and add a point to the score, uh, whether it be the score label or the actual global score. The second part of this was to go ahead and select a new word. So again, we've already created a procedure for this, and we call that pick next word. That will set your item label text to pick a random item from the global word phrase list and also reset the timer. So again, we can go back to our accelerometer and let's go ahead and select our call pick next word. Now everything from there should be set and ready to go to increment your score and to get a new word. But one thing we want to make sure of is that we make sure our clock is still running. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and add one more block to this and that's our clock. And in our clock drawer, we're gonna find a command that says clock timer one enable. So we wanna make sure that we're gonna set that clock and that our timer is enabled and using a logic statement, we're gonna go ahead and say true. So now that you have your accelerometer programmed, if we look at the device, we should be able to go ahead and start our timer. And when we start our timer, you'll notice that it'll start to count down. We wanna get that word phrase. So if we click that, you can see that we have jogging. My time did reset. So now that I have the new word, I could start the timer and now if I go ahead and shake that device, what we should see is number of correct guesses up at the top should change to one. We should get a new word and our timer should also go back to 30 seconds. So if we shake it, you can see now that we have one point. You can see that we have now making a pizza, but the timer continuously ran. It jumped back to 30 seconds and I'll do it again. And you can see, there you go. Your timer is reset back to 30. We have a new word and we gained a point for our number of correct guesses. So there you have it on how to program your accelerometer for your charade games app.